Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech, and today we're going to take a look at the HD6000 from Microsoft for your notebook. Uh, this is an HD webcam that records in 720p, 10, or 1280 by 720p resolution, has autofocus, um, also has what they say is called true color, um, and it's designed for a, a notebook with 360 degree swivel. I can swivel here, as you see. and. Uh, let me readjust that now. Uh, it's got a microphone built into it. Um, the microphone is what you're hearing right now, so uh, you know, judge your opinions off that. I haven't heard this until after I record the video, of course. Uh, here we have the uh, a pouch that the, the camera fits in nicely when you're uh, on the go and you want to tuck this in your notebook bag. It's padded for the webcam, and the webcam has a nice little dongle that folds up and tucks into a uh, little snap that goes around the the, the uh, cord. So uh, enough of that, but this is the camera itself in a well-lit environment. Um, it is pretty decent as you can see. Obviously you're not going to get the same quality as you do from a very high-end HD camera, but for a webcam I think it's more than acceptable. Uh, the price range is in 40 to 60 dollar range, and I say 40 because I know that it's on sale this week at Best Buy for about $39.99, which is $20 off according to them. Um, as I view this on my screen, I'm actually choppy, but I know when it's once it encodes the video it's not. And this is running on a MacBook uh, dual booted. So right now I'm running Windows on Boot Camp, uh, which runs plenty fast, <coughs> um, but for whatever reason the video is a little choppy as I record it, but you shouldn't be seeing this chop. Uh, there are a lot of effects that this does have. Uh, we can put on different faces and things, and it has some interesting head tracking software. As opposed to a Mac, if you've ever seen iChat, uh, on there you can put on different effects and you have to kind of move your head into the effect it doesn't move with you uh, they've got some effects where you step out and you're like you come back in and then you're on a roller coaster that sort of thing these are a little bit better and more advanced and kind of go along with kind of what Microsoft is doing on the Xbox 360 with Kinect uh, or what was pro previously known as Project Natal uh, let me go ahead and show you a couple effects here this is the large mouth effect it'll take a second and there you see, now it's large mouth, now it's going to track with me. And even though obviously it looks goofy, it tracks with my head as I move it. Uh, it knows where my mouth is. Uh, let's go ahead and switch uh, to this effect. It will track with my head as I move in and out of the frames. And you can see it's kind of slow, um, but it tracks well. And we can go on and on. Um, there's a bunch of different things. Uh, shrink your head and that sort of thing but here's some interesting things here's some here's some question marks on top of my head so I back way out of the screen they stay over my head it's kind of neat um, here's a light bulb let me see if I can duck down for you there's a light bulb on the screen that's kind of neat and it, and it will track with my head um, this is interesting it's trying to find my eyes and put the star over it let me change it to a cowboy hat it's not working particularly well Here's some uh, ears and nose here. There's a crown. There's some sunglasses. Let me see if I can get right, right head on and try it again. There we go. Uh, yeah, sometimes I've seen this work really well in some situations. There's some stars over my head, uh, but overall, I think it's pretty in, a pretty neat effect how it actually tracks your head. Um, and can move you around the environment. Let me go ahead and, and transition here. We're going to record the screen so you can see the software itself. Um, but mind you, while I'm recording this, it's going to be choppy as uh, I'm seeing it on the screen. So it's actually not choppy when you output the video, but you're going to see what I'm seeing. So let me go ahead and transition to that and uh, show you what that's like. So now I'm within the software so that you can see uh, this is the Microsoft LifeCam software, and you can see my face is a little bit choppy as I'm talking, but that's what I'm seeing. That's not necessarily what you'll see once the video is done. Uh, so what you see is all these effects over on the right-hand side. So you're going to see the effects over here. Below, uh, what we have is video recording, microphone recording, and you can take pictures. Uh, they work pretty well, and you saw the video recording just a moment ago. So let's go ahead and do the effects. As we click the effect here, you just don't see the mouse cursor, but it puts the effect on and there is a slight delay. 
Um, these are all the different effects. There's quite a few different effects that you can do, uh, even negatives and things like that. Uh, here we have zoom in, zoom out. That works depending on your resolution, your com computer power. This is a Core 2 Duo 2 gigahertz um, with 4 gigs of RAM. I'm not sure why I can't do that, but it has something to do maybe with the video card on a laptop. It is the uh, NVIDIA 9400M, but still it is a little bit slow for whatever reason. Uh, we can go into the settings here, and here we have we can select the different webcam, we can adjust the microphone volume level, here we can change different resolutions, uh, and those will allow us to go in and just change them uh, if you want a smaller size, HD is not working for you right now, or too much. Here we have true color, let's turn that off, and as you can see it readjusts the color for the screen. We can change the brightness, we can go darker, and you can drag the slider as well. And let's get that back here. Uh, here we can minim uh, minimize image flicker, throws up the different hertz for the frequency. And if we scroll down, it will let us here. There we go. Uh, just gives you receive messages for life cam updates, that sort of thing. So very simple software, but very good. You could use the life cam as a messenger service on the um, on on uh, Windows Messenger. Uh, it actually has a button on the top of the webcam that allows you to do that. Uh, let me go ahead and transition back so that we're on the webcam itself and not screen capture. Okay, so now you've seen the screen capture, you've seen the software. Let me go ahead and show you this in, in darker light. So let me go ahead and shut off one of the lights here. So there's a little bit darker light. Um, it handles it very well. Let's go ahead and shut off another light and as you can see it's readjusting by itself and not as good that's pretty bright behind me let me go ahead and shut that off so here we go it's pretty dim light and you can see one of the lights in the background actually uh, and um, that's pretty much it so that's this is a dimly lit room uh, not a ton of light down here I'm actually it's nighttime out um, you know so it, it handles fairly well from what I'm seeing. Uh, I think obviously there's some graininess going on, and that's due to you know uh, evening time. But we're not talking a couple hundred dollar or or uh, even many hundreds of dollars camera. We're talking about an HD webcam, and I think for that it works pretty well. So uh, let me go ahead and turn all these back on, and you can see as it adjusts. And obviously, I don't I don't have all my lighting set up ideally yet, but I just thought I'd do this uh, as a quick video uh, review of the HD 6000. So as you can see, it, it adjusted pretty quickly to the the bright light in the background. Uh, it does work well. It's a it's a pretty good deal for forty dollars on sale, sixty dollars regularly, and I'm sure you can find different deals on Amazon if you wanted to get it. Uh, it is meant for notebooks. It's small and portable, and uh, as you can see software just fell out but as you can see uh, pretty small area that's what it takes up it's not a very big uh, camera at all and it's very portable so um, let me know what you think uh, please subscribe please comment uh, love to hear all the comments and if you have any questions I'll try to answer those as well uh, appreciate it check check the contest there's a contest going on for a couple more days and I try to keep one going regularly now um, you'll probably be able to win this camera at some point so be sure to check back uh, if you have any questions like I said feel free to ask um, this is Aaron with Zolotech we'll see you next time